Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked about um, doing a video showing all the fragrances that I like to wear to bed. So I pulled 10 fragrances here because I all of these are fragrances I love to wear to bed and I am going to just jump right in. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is one that I recently like just got last week and I've been wearing it to bed every single day <laughs> since I got it um, and that is Oscar Lavender. So this is Oscar de la Renta and it's, I think it's just called Lavender. Um, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think it has a name on it, but it's just the one that comes in these bottles. And this is like a whole collection. They've got a whole bunch of them in this collection. Um, this is a gorgeous, like milky, sweet lavender fragrance. It's more of like a gourmand lavender. It's not a dry or a like natural smelling lavender, if that makes any sense. Though it's not like super synthetic smelling either. It's, um, it's just gorgeous. Like I say, it's a beautiful, milky, uh, sweet. It's got like a little bit of a spice to it, but it's not spicy, if that makes any sense. It's just beautiful. I've been wearing it to bed every single day since I got it. Um, I can't find a good notes list for this because I know this has lavender in it. I smell the lavender, but the notes that I found, um, which I think I found on Fragrance X because I can't, this is not on Fragrantica. Um, I should just look on the Oscar de la Renta website. They might have it on there, but I'm not sure. But this is, uh, the ones that I found on Fragrance X are Jasmine, Bergamot, Cloves, Rose, and Coriander, which I can kind of see like a very, very muted clove coriander thing going on. I think that might be what the spicy, the kind of spicy element I'm getting is. But it's, I don't know, it's just like a sweet lavender sweet and milky it's gorgeous so that has been my favorite bedtime scent <laughs> and i can't see that changing anytime soon it's so gorgeous so that is oscar de la renta lavender okay the next one is one i wear this to bed all the time i've got a good little dent put in this thing you can't see because the bottle is so dark but i've got it's definitely down to about here right now um which for me is a lot for all the perfumes I have. For me to put a dent that big in this um, is is saying something. So this is Zara Violet Blossom and I adore this for bedtime. Uh, occasionally I will wear this in the daytime when I'm at home. Uh, I don't wear it out of the house though because it doesn't last long enough. This one only hangs around for a couple of hours, which is unfortunate because it smells amazing. This is Cherry Blossom, Magnolia, and Tonka Bean. And it's funny because I recently just picked up a carded sample of uh, Cacharel Yes I Am. And as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is reminding me of something that I already own. It's It smelled amazing, but the Cacharel was like a little bit... Um, Fruit, like it had a really strong fruity aspect to it, whereas the Zara really doesn't but they smell so so much alike but i like the violet blossom so much more and so um to me that's what the cacharel yes i am smells like it smells a lot like violet blossom but i just prefer violet blossom but uh, this is just a beautiful bedtime scent it's super cozy something about that mixture of the cherry blossom and the tonka bean is magic I just love it. So anyways, that is Zara Violet Blossom. Okay, next is one that I adore. This sucker is so strong. It is in the tiniest little bottle, but this thing packs a punch. This is Nazimato Nudiflorum. Um, it's really hard to find the exact notes in Nazimato fragrances. They'll give you like this whole like story about what it smells like without giving you the actual notes. So the only thing I could find on this is that it's a floral woody musk. This smells, it smells kind of earthy. It's definitely got like an earthy, slightly green, but very musky aspect to it. There's something about it that smells like 
musky skin, if that makes any sense, but it's also got this like really natural earthiness to it. Um, kind of like a damp soil smell to it. Definitely not safe, but there's something about the smell of this that is so beautiful and comforting to me. It's slightly, um, yeah, it's got a slight, it's hard for me to explain, but I just love it. I love wearing it to bed, but this is like one drop, literally one top, one tap, tap on either side of my neck and tap, tap on the inner of my arms. And I will smell like this for two days. Seriously. It's so, so strong. So this is only a little tiny four mil bottle. I think it's, yeah, four mil oil. Um, but this will last me my entire lifetime because I literally need one little tiny drop at a time. So definitely not safe. I wouldn't say run out and buy this um, because it's it's an odd one, but ugh, I love it. There's something so comforting about it and I love wearing it to bed. So anyways, that is Nazamato Nudiflorum. Okay, this next one is a gorgeous amber fragrance. This is another one I don't wear out of the house because it does not last on me, but I adore wearing it to bed because it's just a gorgeous, comforting amber fragrance, and that is Laura Mercier Amber Passion. Um, this is beautiful. This is this is a slightly powdery, slightly sweet, uh, kind of airy amber fragrance. It's not super deep. It's not thick or rich smelling. I mean, it is, but it's not like one of. It's not a heavy amber scent. Is what I'm trying to say. It's just a beautiful, slightly powdery, sweet, bright, light amber. And it's really, really nice to wear to bed. So uh, Amber Passion is Labdanum, Vanilla, Geranium, Amber, Tonka Bean, Patchouli, Sandalwood, Musk, and Cedar. And it's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful amber fragrance, super comforting, super cozy, perfect for bedtime. This one only lasts a couple hours on the skin, if that. So that's why I use it as a bedtime scent. So that is Laura Mercier Amber Passion. Okay, this next one is another kind of skin musky type scent and I love it for bedtime. This is uh, Estee Lauder Sensuous and I love this fragrance, especially at bedtime. I love this one for any time though. It's, it's just a beautiful, super easy to wear, kind of like skin musk type of fragrance. I need to get another bottle. Mine is getting so, so low, so I haven't been wearing it a ton lately because it's mine's getting really low, but uh, Sensuous is Lily, Jasmine, Magnolia, Woodsy Notes, Amber, Ylang Ylang, Sandalwood, White Honey, Pepper, and Mandarin Orange. And again, it's just like a slightly musky, kind of like a skin musk, warm, clean, just like cozy, comfy scent. So it's another one that's perfect for bedtime, though this one I would definitely wear um, anytime because this one lasts a really good long time on my skin. Um, I definitely get a good eight to 10 hours out of this. So this is a good one for any time. So anyways, that is Estee Lauder Sensuous. Okay, the next one is a beautiful vanilla fragrance that I adore. Um, this is by a house called Essential Parfums and this is Divine Vani. And you can find these on Lucky Scent for about $75. Um, it, it's a huge bottle. It is, I think this is, it doesn't have the, uh, volume on here, but I think this is at least a three ounce bottle for sure. Um, but yeah, this is just a beautiful vanilla fragrance. It's, um, oh, it's like very slightly sweet, but not overly sweet. This isn't a gourmand vanilla. It's kind of a slightly, almost a slightly like woody, boozy, very slightly sweet, cozy vanilla. Um, so Divine Vani is cinnamon, clary sage, black pepper, incense, pomeros, osmanthus, Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, cyan benzoin, patchouli, Texas cedar, and musk. And you really mostly get the like slight woodiness. There is a little bit of that incense quality there, but it's I, like I wouldn't categorize this as an incense type fragrance. 
it's just a beautiful, very slightly sweet, musky, very woody, dry vanilla. It's like a vanilla for people that don't like gourmand vanillas or cake-like vanillas or things like that. So anyways, this is Essential Parfums Divine Vanille. Okay, the next one is a rose fragrance that I like to wear to bed. And I actually have two rose fragrances that I like to wear to bed. Um, I like to wear the Rochat Secret Day Roses or whatever that one is um, because the lasting power is horrible on that. And so I do wear that one to bed a lot. Uh, this one is basically the same thing. They're very, very similar fragrances. This is Yves Rocher Rose Absolute. And this is from the Secret Dessences line. And... This is a beautiful, um, this is like rose jam. It's like straight up like rose jam. It's sweet, it's, it's thick, it's like a gooey rose. It's dark, it's yummy. It's not like mature smelling at all, but it's definitely not like a fresh fruity rose either. It's beautiful. It's just a dark, yummy, jammy rose. Uh, so Rose Absolutus, Cinnamon Rose, Tonka Bean Patchouli, and Virginia Cedar. And it's super cozy, super comforting. It's like the perfect bedtime scent. And I do wear it to bed a lot because it just doesn't last very long. I get a couple hours out of this, maybe, if I'm lucky. Uh, I so wish that it lasted longer, though, because it's such a gorgeous scent. I mean, look at the color of the liquid. It's so... I mean, it smells the way that the color of the liquid looks. It's just this really beautiful, dark, yummy, like jammy sweet rose. But unfortunately, it's just, oh, the lasting power is so bad on it. So anyways, that is Rose Absolute from Yves Rocher. Okay, the next one, this is another one that I wear to bed a lot. I love this, it's a super beautiful, comforting scent. But again, the lasting power on it is just not good. Um, I would love to find a, like a vintage bottle of this because I've heard that um, people that used to wear it said that it would last forever. It was just a great fragrance and they reformulated it and it got bad. So, uh, this is Hugo Boss Deep Red and this is such a gorgeous fragrance, but I do wear this one to bed a lot because it's the lasting power on it is just bad. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so good. It's slightly gourmand. It's a little bit nutty. It's sweet, it's yummy, it's so beautiful, it's comforting, it's cozy, it is like the perfect bedtime scent, but this is another one that if it lasted longer, I would wear this like every day probably until I ran out because it smells amazing. So uh, Deep Red is Blood Orange, Black Currant, Clementine, Pear, Mandarin Orange, Ginger, Ginger Flower, Tuberose, Freesia, Hibiscus Seed, Vanilla, Sandalwood, Musk, and California Cedar. It's so, so good. It is the perfect bedtime scent. You'll get maybe a couple hours out of this. So anyways, that is Hugo Boss Deep Red. Okay, the next one. This is one that I've seen a lot of people say that this is a bedtime scent for them. Um, this is another one that I don't get a ton of time out of it, but it's not as bad as like the Hugo Boss or the Yves de Rocher. It's definitely not that bad. This is La Perla Mia or La Mia Perla, um, however you say it. And this is a gorgeous, just powdery, it's just a powdery scent. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful, clean, slightly sweet, powdery fragrance. Uh, this is Mandarin, White Pepper, Jasmine Sombach, White Peony, Oris, Suede, Ambrox, Sandalwood, and Muscanone. And this one, um, I will get about four hours out of it. Like, it's not horrible. It's not just like a couple hours type fragrance, but it's not one I could wear to work either um, because it wouldn't get me through the whole day, but it's not horrible. So I do wear this one to bed a lot, and it's like a perfect bedtime scent. This would be perfect to spray on your bedding as well. It's just a really, really nice fragrance, so... That is one that I adore. And somehow I missed one because I've got one sitting here that I know, yeah. 
Okay, so I should have talked about this after Divine Vanilla. I tried to keep my vanilla fragrances together. This is Pacifica Cosmosis Vanilla Stardust, and I wear this one to bed all the time too. This is such a perfect vanilla fragrance. Unfortunately, again, the lasting power on it is not great. It's only a couple hours, um, but it's such a beautiful, like, it's kind of in between like a cakey vanilla and like a Play-Doh vanilla. There's, it's kind of a mixture of both of those and it's so yummy. So Cosmosis is deep, resinous, creamy vanilla with ash and cold, sparkling ozonic notes. And it's beautiful, it's slightly sweet. It's very light, bright, and fresh smelling because, but it is kind of like a weird mixture of like a Play-Doh vanilla and a cake vanilla. I really, really love it. It's a great bedtime scent, but again, it just doesn't last that long, but these are so inexpensive. I think I picked mine up for like, I don't know, maybe $12 a piece from Ulta. I think I got them on sale, but yeah, Pacifica is always on sale at some point. So, um, I, and I love all of this one and the rose one by far the best fragrances. So anyways, that is Pacifica Cosmosis Vanilla Stardust. So anyways, guys, those are 10 fragrances that I love to wear to bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.